welcome back to the Classical Music Golf Association Classic, where our players are competing for the coveted major and minor and Phrygian and Locrian titles. I'm Bob Bobberson, and I'm joined here by Bobby Bobsmith. Glad to be here, Bob. Uh, we're joining our players on the fifth hole, based on Schubert's Unfinished Symphony. That's right, Bob. This is a particularly complex hole that starts normally after a strong dog leg right, but ends abruptly after about 680 measures. Good observation, Bob. Uh, on the tee box, Reginald Chesterfield seems to be using his long wood for this initial drive. Hmm. An E flat and B flat seems a bit short for this hole, so he seems to be using his bass. Or maybe an alto. Yeah, Bob, and an alto doesn't seem like it would have much use on this course, Bob. Moreover, Bob. You're right, Bob. On another part of the course, we join with Bubba Flatson Jr. the third on the green of hole 11, based on uh, Saison's Carnival of the Animals. And he's lining up for the putt, and... Oh, oh, no, it seems that the crowd has distracted him. Yeah, Bob, he seems to have been accosted by the animals. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Oh, my is right, Bob. All right, he's lining up that putt again, and... Oh, just You're stupid. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Bob. I was just checking A440 with my tuner. Now let's check in with Samuel Samuelson Esquire on the tee box of hole 14. That tee box always does lead back to dough, doesn't it, Bob? It sure does, Bob. Well, there's his backswing, and oh no, he seems to have terribly overshot that one, Bob. All right, Bob. He seems to have missed by more than a fifth on that attempt. His accuracy seems to be a little iffy today, Bob. The sound only went about five feet in front of him. That's not very good for audience projection, Bob. Just an observation. Okay, here, here he goes again. Shh. Yep, my tuner still works, Bob. All right, Bob. Let's check in with Bernard Lernstein teeing off right now on hole number six. He seems to be aimed in a strange direction, Bob. Oh, well, Bob, that was a pretty severe miss. <laughs> oh, it was, Bob. He seemed to want to hit in a compound meter, but hit in simple meter instead, Bob. Right you are, Bob. A poor choice indeed. And on we go to hole 18, based on Stravinsky's famous Rite of Spring. That's right, Bob. This hole is fairly straightforward, uh, with the green just right of the spring. You're right, Bob. And most players have been aiming left today. That's an interesting strategy on this hole, Bob. Certainly a very interesting strategy, Bob. Oh no, he seems to have really hooked that one left. I think he even hit a little fan. I don't know, Bob. It actually looks like a pretty big windmill. Oh, you're right, Bob. <laughs> That's on the mini golf course next door. Billy! It seems to have ricocheted Billy! out of a tiny boy. It, is he carrying a tuba? Billy, how will we get to your tuba lesson? Well, Bob, his uh, hysterical mother seems to be very concerned about his tuba lesson, Bob. We'll check back with her a little later. Right, oh, Bob. Well, so far, scores are pretty low in number today, especially the conductors who keep going off score. Not wise on a day like today, Bob. Well, that'll bring us to another commercial break. Stay tuned for more of the CMGA Classic.